Are you wondering if they're the one? Well, let's unpack that. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. This is Jasmine Diaz, Celebrity Matchmaker, and I am looking forward to talking to you today as we unpack reasons why they're not the one. And I say they because this applies to just about everybody. If you're questioning whether or not the person is the one, are they, do they have potential to make it long term? Well, this is the perfect video for you because I'm gonna break down some reasons why this person isn't ideal. Now, I know most of you are accustomed to dating experts giving you advice on all the ways in which you can figure out how somebody is great, but this one is unique because I am breaking down how all the ways this person is not great. So, the first reason they are not the one for you is they make you worse. They make you a worse person, not better. The goal for relationships, any person that you find yourself with, is this person should actually make you feel better, right? They should bring out the best in you. And sometimes you find yourself in a relationship that is completely toxic, brings up a person that you might not even recognize yourself. You might be doing or saying things that are completely abnormal for the person that you are, and that might have a lot to do with the partner that you have chosen. Sometimes the person that we are with isn't the person that's ideal for us because they don't actually empower us to be our best self. This person might make you doubt yourself, your choices, and all the steps that you have taken in your life just because they are close to you. So if you are constantly wondering about yourself and this person isn't making you feel great, then maybe that is an answer to a question that you might be asking, which is, is this person right for me? The next reason why they are not the one is they're negative. They're always negative. Have you ever been in a relationship with someone who just loves the dramas, constantly being a Debbie Downer in your life? Let me know in the comments, have you been in this kind of relationship before where the person that you're with can never be positive? They're just always thinking about the worst case scenario of a situation. The question you need to be asking yourself as you evaluate these things in your love life is does this person have the ability to give me what I need? And most people, you know, they need positivity, they need clarity, they need support, right? And if we're thinking about long-term, you're really having to evaluate whether or not this person can be that for you. And maybe they can't. And the question then becomes, what next? What do I do with this person that I'm dealing with that is always full of it? To make it long-term, you need someone who can be supportive, through the trials and tribulations of life. So if this person's always dragging you down with their negativity, that is a sign that they are not the one. The next reason why this person is not for you is they wanna see you fail. They don't want to see you winning in life. In fact, they might even be competing with you right now. Think about that. When was the last time this person that you were with actually said something supportive? Are they constantly being jealous of you and your successes in life? Are you wondering, is it me? Is it potentially me that's the one who is seeing this the wrong way? Sometimes the partner that we're with can drag you down. Now there is something that I have said over the years uh, is that the person that you end up with could really make or break the life that you have. So think about that in the grand scheme of things. Does this person bring you support? Do they encourage you? Do they want you to fail? Do they always seem to be that one person being negative Nancy all up in that ear saying things that really make you doubt your abilities? And if you are questioning these things, you really need to think twice about this next step. Now this next reason goes hand in hand with the last, which is gaslighting. Like, have you ever been in a relationship where you had a feeling or sensation and this person either minimized your feelings, made you feel like, mm, that's not really happening. Well, baby, mm, this, is, this is something you gotta look out for. Maybe this person 
isn't for you. If you are constantly questioning yourself, or maybe this person is making you doubt how you truly feel about things, or maybe they take subtle shots at you doing petty little things. I mean, this is an area where so many people go wrong because I think there are signs that tell us that this person isn't for us, but we wanna believe in all the wonderful things, right? We don't wanna believe that this person is minimizing how we feel. We don't want to believe that this person isn't actually as nice as they claim to be because then that means that we made a mistake. And so, Making mistakes is just not what we do in relationships. But if your partner is gaslighting you, making you feel small, or not really taking into consideration all the things that you say, do, feel, act, believe, then baby, I gotta tell you, this person's not for you. The last reason why this person isn't the one is they're a vampire. Mm. Do you know exactly what I'm talking about? This is a person who just sucks every little inch and ounce out of you and doesn't give anything in return. Girl, have you been there before? I know you have. I'm, sir, I know you have too. Find yourself in a relationship with someone who you're head over the heels with. You're doing everything, right? You're being supportive, you're being caring, you're giving, you're loving, you're being there, right? You are the ride or die. But for some reason, this person just can't be bothered to do the same. I know you understand exactly what I'm talking about because so many of you are in vampire relationships right now. So if you're questioning whether or not to move forward with someone, evaluate, are they giving you what you are putting out? Sometimes reciprocal relationships are difficult, right? You might find yourself being the person that carries most of the weight at the beginning, only for it to taper off and it seems a little equal somewhere in the middle. But you might also find yourself doing all of the work, giving all of your love, being that one, and the person from you does nothing but take and take and take until you're shriveled up and you don't have anything more to give. Are you this person? Have you been here before? Let me know in the comments because let me tell you, this is common. Now, what I would love for you to do if you are in this situation is to draw back. Now, I... We'll say, as a person being in a relationship, a long-term relationship, you will always find yourself either doing more or less of something. But if you will find yourself carrying the weight more times than you're not, I would say that this person is definitely not the one. All of the things that I mentioned before are things that you commonly hear, right? Oh, uh, we shouldn't be in a relationship with someone who gaslights us. Perhaps we shouldn't be in a, in a relationship with someone who doesn't support us, who doesn't give us time. But I will tell you, I wanted to do this video because there are so many of you who are in relationships right now that are red flags and you don't even know it. So I think it's important that we take a moment before you step down that aisle and say I do, or before you move in with that person to really take stock and ownership of the relationship you're in and question, is this something for me? And if it's not for you, it's okay, it's okay. It's, there's more than enough time for you to make a better choice, okay? So that's it today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know, are there some other things that you think are reasons why someone is not the one? If I didn't really clarify something or maybe I missed one of the signs that you shouldn't move forward, definitely leave it in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in again and I hope you subscribe so we can talk and see each other more frequently. All right, take care, have a good one.